honestly, like, I just want the kingdom. Like, I just want God to have government in our house. I want him to expand his government um, and release love in Isla Vista. I want Jesus. Um, he's already king of Isla Vista. He's king of the universe. But I want him to be tangibly, visibly king of Isla Vista. Love, 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 love living in community. I'm almost like different parts of you come out when you live in community and it just sits different with different people. But I love it, love it, love it. I think one of the coolest things here is just the amount of support you get. And it's, it's so mutual. Like I'll come home and like see that my dishes that I forgot to do have been done. Something. God has me walking in right now is being being at a place where you're in a community family setting and just trusting in the people around you so like you can have your heart like fully exposed. Let me tell you a little something something about Sarah. Sarah is amazing. <laughs> There's no complaining in her. She absolutely never complains. She just has like the most intimate places of her heart and she lets people in on them. And she is so warm, just the warmest person that you could ever meet. And she's so genuine. And when she smiles and laughs at your jokes, she absolutely means it. <laughs> the passion that's in that girl is absolutely amazing. That's taught me a lot about how Really, his love can be manifested through people. <laughs> Some highlights. Um, it has been a sweet pleasure watching Friends with Bryce every meal. Every meal. He's just teaching me that in community and like in covenant, what that means is that you're one person. It's, it's like you're, you're one entity. You don't think of yourselves as separate anymore. In, in covenant and in, in family, it's... It's, there's not really a separation. I'm still an individual, but like my life isn't separate from other people's. And so just my actions, good and bad, directly influence them. And so that's been a really powerful thing. What I love about living at the DP house is that it's so open for people to come and just use our house. We'll have girls come in and stay till 2 in the morning just talking about Jesus. I think we just, we do community really well. We do family really well and vulnerability really well and that's something that I really cherish. <laughs> Probably, definitely be going on adventures. <laughs> they're, they're a frequent occurrence and of unmeasurable enjoyment. It's also amazing just having people there ready to pray for you, ready to laugh with you, ready to cry with you, ready to walk you through something. I've learned a lot from Heather in particular because she's so steadfast on her path and knows 
exactly what she wants and what her, what her gifts are. I just look up to her so much as a sister and I know that if there's anything I ever need help with, like she has so much wisdom and so much advice because she like so steadfastly seeks God and seeks the truth. And Kristen, if you know a servant, you don't. Until you meet Kristen. Kristen is incredible. Kristen will be the first person to lay anything down for someone she doesn't know, someone she knows really well. Uh, just lay everything down she has for her whole entire day just to do one simple thing for someone. And it's out of the purest place of her heart and she never builds up bitterness or anything like that. Um, she changes atmospheres in the house. She comes into a room and it, it, she makes it all about other people. Bryce, I feel like he's a really good brother and he just knows how to take care of his sisters and you know is just like so generous um, with his time and like really takes time to get to know each and every person in the house. I love that there's so much freedom to just go up and downstairs at all times of the day. Okay, the hardest part of living in this community house, I think, is because it is so small and there's so many people, you can't hide any of your problems. So it's a good thing, but it's also really hard. But the good outweighs the hard, definitely. We would love prayer for this house, that it would just be a refuge for people, that people would see the Jesus Burgers house and know that this was a safe place and that they would just be drawn into it. Say, if you want to get involved, just show up. Just come to, just come hang out. Swing by the Jesus. I mean, we've had random people walk in, and say, "Hey, is this the Jesus Burgers house?" I'm buy a Jesus Burgers book. Just swing by and just talk to us. Just, just be okay with like being stretched and hop in with us, and then you'll learn a lot. And then you'll get a lot.